Operations resumed today after a weekend shutdown at the West Coast ports. The temporary suspension was part of an ongoing, months-long contract dispute between shippers and dock workers. And as Jane Wells reports, tensions are running high. Work resumed at West Coast ports on Monday, but the damage may have already been done. Truckers have invoked what's called force majeure, saying congestion is so bad they cannot be held responsible or fined for the late return of equipment. And citrus farmers say already they have lost nearly a half billion dollars in sales to Asia. The Pacific Maritime Association, which represents management, decided to shut down all work offloading ships up and down the West Coast this weekend, claiming it needed to find more space in the yard to put cargo containers. We need the yard crane operators. They're like the, you can't send a football team out without a quarterback, and that's what these workers are. They're the quarterbacks of a, of a crew. The PMA showed nightly business report numbers suggesting that while it asks for a full complement of yard crane operators in LA and Long Beach daily, the union will only dispatch a handful. Typically what happens is that we call the dispatch hall and we say, look, we're, we're going to need 15 yard crane operators at Terminal X or Terminal Y. And what we're hearing back from them is, no, 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 not so much. You're going to get one. The Longshoremen's Union disputes that, and it released photos claiming to show there was still room for more cargo to be unloaded this weekend, negating the need for a shutdown. And in a new twist, the union is hinting the problem may be due to management being mostly based outside the U.S. When they decide to close the ports, that's a pretty serious issue, and I think people should take it seriously for what it is. It's a, a form of economic terrorism. Contract negotiations resume Monday, and while it would appear outwardly that both sides are far apart, the union says that's not the case. And they're very close. They're this far away. And if that's true, perhaps a contract can be negotiated before there's a full-time shutdown, though some are already paying a very high price. For Nightly Business Report, Jane Wells, Los Angeles.